Welcome to Bin's computer. It's audio video. In this example, we are going to see how to use repeat, length, if, and ampersand function to construct a string like displayed in cell D2. We are having invoice number from 1 to 1002 month as Jan to May and year as 2011. We have to construct a string like year slash month slash invoice number. If you see the invoice number difference, it is like 12397 means it is going to have a length of 1, 2, 3 and 4. In the place of invoice number, if the length is 1, then we have to display 3 times 0 before the invoice number. Likewise, if it is 2, then we have to display 2 zeros and as on, we have to construct the string. Let's see how we can do it. First, we have to find out that what is the length of my invoice number that can be done by using the length function now we have to check that how many zeros we have to pass on so with the help of if we are going to see that how many zeros we can pass so in this logical test criteria we are going to check that what is the length of the invoice number if the length of the invoice number is 1 then we require 3 zeros and in false part we are going to pass 0 that we don't want to do anything for the time being likewise we can check for the length of 2 that if the length is equals to 2 then how many character we have to pass likewise we have to check for 3 then we have to pass 1 With respect to this scenario, if we have to construct four character as a string, then our if condition will have up to three, that is n minus one. So n is the total number of string we have to construct. So my if function is going to give me that how many times my zero is going to repeat. So in this case, three times in this case two times and in this case one time and in this case zero time now we can use the repeat function to repeat the text so we want to repeat zero as a repeating text and my if function is going to give me the number of times I have to repeat the text so in this way I will have 3 times 0 for invoice number which is having length of 1 2 times for invoice number having length of 2 and 1 time invoice number having length is 3 and nil time for invoice number having length of 4 now we have to use the ampersand sign to add the invoice number so in this way we can add the invoice number and get the zeros as a preceding character now as per the scenario we have to add year and month in our string so we use year 
ampersand the slash sign and the month sign and slash and ampersand now in this way we can construct a string based on the criteria of length of the invoice number thank you for feedback you can give for at the redpinscomputer.com